It's one week since you left me. Five minutes to twelve noon. Not that hungry because I ate at I ate you know, finished the porridge at around ten a.m. Because I was hungry, I thought that's gonna be my lunch or brunch. But on second thought, might as well cook something. Spaghetti here. Needed that. What else do I need? I need milk, egg, <coughs> Parmesan cheese, and bacon. I hope this is bacon inside this plastic bag. So, Parmesan cheese, which I think my sister said is what? It's in the freezer. It was in the freezer, and I think she said it was expired. But never mind, it's okay. What's the worst that you can? can get uh, this is the remnants of my porridge what's the, worst that can, what's, what's the worst that you can get from eating expired dairy products it's just easier time taking a dump that's all what's this streaky bacon I don't know what that is and some back bacon I think that's the one that I wanted 5 ringgit and 86 cents that's roughly about Six ringgit, six ringgit is equivalent to one point five US dollars. So one point five US dollars in this packet alone. God damn it! I'm not wearing a shirt, so just letting you know. You don't need to let me know in the comments at all. If ever in the comments, please just leave good stuff. Hey, fat bacon and streaky bacon. Which one has more fat? It's it is the fat that I want. Holy oh shit. That's like 10 ringgit or 2.5 US dollars worth of bacon here. Which one has more fat? Oh! This one has more fat. So therefore I am using this one. Give me three pieces because that's a good number. Is this fat? Hmm, smoke smells smoky and stuff. Nice. So three of it. It's cooked, right? I hope so. It should be. Theoretically speaking, it should be cooked. I hope. So some streaky be streaky bacon. <coughs> and you're wondering what I'm gonna do? It's going to be carbonara, spaghetti carbonara. Very simple. Oh, and I need salt and pepper too. So a lot of uh, bacon to be had. Here, I gotta finish it by whatever time. Because this is in the fridge. Fridge stuff does not last long. Just a bit of meat here, egg. Also, I need. I need to wash my hands. Uh, this one back in the fridge. I put it down because I, I'm afraid of forgetting about it. Salt and pepper, black kind. Not talking about race, but this kind. And that's about it, I think. That's how you make spaghetti carbonara. Egg, parmesan cheese, milk, or cream, I think. Not supposed to be milk, but cream. Well, that's the next best thing to having cream or full cream milk. I don't have full cream milk. We make do with what we have. So prepare the place for insertion of one's food. So it's going to be a late lunch. I'm not going to eat now. Still full. me do this with water first oh no and that's about it yeah so I prepare the how much noodles am I gonna get use
more bacon you put into it, the tastier it gets. Oh yeah, I don't have mushrooms. Mushrooms would be awesome. About this much, I think, would be okay. Okay, not too much. This is just to like satiate my my curiosity for it and prepare myself to cook it. Just want to put it back. videos and see how to do it the, the simplest way of making this spaghetti carbonara with streaky bacon so let's cook a new addition egg and onions hot water eh, water hot okay dump in some salt to salt the what you call it noodles <coughs> one or two teaspoons I'm not sure but uh, anything is okay. Up to you. It won't be overly salty because it will be diluted with the water. Egg here. Break into the pan, shell into the rubbish bin. <coughs> reminds me, uh, this reminds me of something. Shit, now I forgot. Uh, eggs. If you have chickens, feed the chickens your eggs. Crush the shells first into small pieces, then give it to them. They love it. I love these chopsticks, courtesy of. Of uh, what's this? Uh, ramen ten or some kind of sushi ten. So beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. All you gotta do is beat it. I'm not talking about masturbation. You can use uh, what you call it, fork to beat the egg. But this one is actually cooler. It looks much cooler and more sophisticated. And I'm a sophisticated kind of guy. No need to do anything to the, the egg yolk. No salt, no pepper, no nothing, no no life. Onion. Quarter them. I mean, wait, I want to make it into one third. Because I don't want to waste a lot. Just one, new, one carbonara, spaghetti carbonara. You don't need the whole onion. For that, I think <coughs> this one uh, gotta have a container for eight. Definitely, that is hopefully, 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 hopefully airtight. You're gonna put in the. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Don't want the fridge to smell like onions. If it smells like onions, it's gonna be not good. Not good at all. Okay, this one seems okay. It's got a nice crack. Put it face down so that it won't like lose its moisture. See the skin in the on onion in this. I left the onion. I did not like uh, skin it as much as I can because I want it to still have a barrier to stop it from becoming dry. Just in case it's in the fridge for a long, long time. Because there is like three meals from one onion, a big onion. This song was very, very popular. Uh, what's it called? The name of the group? No idea. says that my nephews are, are like super cute and stuff 
you don't know, you don't know half the story, okay? Devils, man. Especially the big one, Jaden. Devil. Smart little devil. Devil. Uh, hey, how do I do this already? Shit. Dice into small pieces, the onions. Dice them, chop them. Put it aside. And next up, the garlic. One cloth. Chop the ends so it will be easier. Or the butt end. That's hard. And of course the front if you want it to be much much easier, much much easier. <coughs> you can sprinkle some salt onto the garlic here to make it easier to chop because it won't get stuck to the blade as often without or as compared to not salted the big salt okay the big granules <coughs> okay dokey next up the water is boiling right yeah you can agree on that water is boiling and let it uh, soften and push it down with the this thing here. I don't know what you call it. Do not know what you call it. The pincer. Ah, who cares? Yep, time for the pincer movement. <coughs> and next up. Let's deal with the bacon. Bacon chopped into fine stuff, like uh, like what happened to the garlic. Finely chop it. So the song la 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 long la 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 long 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 is really sexual actually. You, you get the feeling that it is really sexual and it's like rape. Hello. <coughs> A lot of songs you think about it, it's really not that appropriate. I was very young and I really, I already, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm intelligent. I already know what it means actually. It really plays with the mind. The wok here, you have a skillet or a flat pan. I don't have one because it's now being used to cook the spaghetti. But uh, I'm going to use the wok. And if you love olive oil, you can use olive oil. If you do not, like I do, I don't like olive oil because it has a green taste to it. <coughs> I just use regular oil, vegetable oil, I think. <coughs> uh, just imagine that the oil is actually olive oil. Okay, just imagine that you're getting healthier and healthier. Everything is imagination. Okay, what's the milk for? The cream milk? The the recipe that I got did not use full cream milk or whatnot. I'm, I'm now confused. I think everybody has his own like way of cooking stuff. So in with the bacon, fry until crispy.
much I love trying it, so no need to have so much, so much uh, oil. is salty. I And if you cry, I'm gonna push it, push it some more. Okay, there's not much of bacon in here actually. So, shit, I should put. Instead of three slices of this tricky bacon, I should put like six. Then it will be much, much more awesome. <coughs> but anyway, all the awesome taste of the bacon is in the oil now. Now we, this one here, the, hey, what are you looking at? Onion and ginger, but onion first. Because onion takes a long time for it to, what would they, what does the YouTube video say? Become Translucent. <coughs> Garlic we only put after it come the onion has become translucent. This is because uh, the uh, the garlic takes a shorter time to become like caramelized or releases. It's delicious aroma, which is like sulfur. So that's why you put it last into the same pot. So cook the <coughs> spaghetti until al dente. So I'm not sure when to put the cream milk. No idea. The cream will lower down the the temperature of the spaghetti. Unfortunately. So I think it's a bit translucent now. The noodles are not yet al dente, so better lower down the the gas to this wok. I think it's translucent already, right? Well, tell me when it's translucent. Who knows? I don't cook. Translucent, should be okay. Next in garlic, one clove. Oh, yeah, clove. A bulb is a big, a bulb is a collection of cloves, right? I think uh, Mr. Vampire. 
whatever his real name is, hates heliotosis. He wants to have a clean breath when he bites into a girl's artery or aorta or jugular, sorry. Jugular is the uh, also important vein or artery that goes into the head and supplies your brain with, with nutrients. So he wants to have fresh breath instead of heliotosis, that's why he's so scared of garlic. Touching it and crushing it is not good enough. It's better. Taste it. Still a bit uh, hard, so leave it there for a while. Push it, push it. I don't have, I don't have any more activities. And uh, today is what's today's day? Today is first or second August, two thousand sixteen. It's a Tuesday. I don't have any more activities. I don't have any more uh, conventions to go to. So only at this weekend there is this jewelry convention. I'm not sure whether I can bring a camera into it or not. No idea. I don't know what's happening. And the garlic is coming brown, so it's time to introduce the noodles into the fold. Turn off the fire. Make sure the fire to your wok is at low heat. Or you can turn off the heat altogether, which I'm going to do because I'm turning off the gas to the wok. Because you don't need it at all. Now, oh fuck, I mean, shit. Push the Skin it closer to the wall so that uh, minimize spillage of the salted water. Dump it in. Both things are hot. I think that's enough. Mix it all around. Dump in the not too much, unfortunately, bacon and egg. Pour egg into it. You will definitely cook it, hopefully. And you really want those egg. Move it around. I'm gonna stop the cooking, put some milk into it <coughs> if you want to, optional. And that's how you oh no, it's not yet, it's not yet done. It's not yet finished actually. Very creamy, very very white, and Amazon cheese for the sea of of Chaffy. Oh, she what? Florida? It's called Florida, or oh, is it Flow Rider? No idea. Oh, it's gonna be salty. Oh, give me on standby. You want some salt, some salt, black pepper, some black pepper, you like black pepper, put in, bring in the pain. <coughs> and a late time, I don't have any um, I don't have any parsley or whatnot, so shit. So it's not good for me. in some more around let the parmesan cheese melt into the noodles then plate it swirl if you are a prick chef
Okay, time to do some taste testing. See whether it's enough or not. Anything salty or whatever. Mm, it's a bit more salt. How much into? And we're done. Never have enough parmesan. The utensils here are coat, coated with egg. It's a bit uh, cumbersome to wash. Hot water from the from the what you call skillet will make it easier to wash afterwards. So that's about it. That's it. Parmesan just have a... Ooh, holy fuck, that was scary. Parmesan has a very like, smelly and pukey smell to it. Does that mean it's bad? The fan eats the food. <sighs> mm. It's a rich and decadent type of food. Mix it around, make sure the parmesan is melted into airy nook and cranny. <sighs> nice. Eating spaghetti with awesome chopsticks nice this is the black knight dark knight returns uh, returns show me the money mm. oh delicious once you put the parmesan cheese into it it becomes thicker and thicker I think that's where the milk comes in or the full cream milk. It makes it a bit more watery. I did not remember it having garlic. Garlic, yes. Onions, not so. I'm not sure what's the onions for. When you bite into it, the bacon has been cracked, cracked, has been fried to hard. And crunchy. It's like pork cracking already. Gives a crunchy, crunchy taste. Gives a different texture to it. You have the noodles that is uh, kind of like soft. Then suddenly you bite into a bacon, fried bacon, and 
it gives a resistance to it. Mm. I stopped eating, I put the, put the Parmesan cheese in the freezer. Scared it might go bad. Finish. Kinda. Mm. So you don't need to use olive oil for spaghetti. Of course, the Italians will, th will be thinking, Oh, mamma mia, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, we're not in Italy. It's just, it's not personal. It's business. Mm. So yesterday we ate the ramen ten. Hint, hint, chopsticks. Awesome meal, go and try it out if you are around the area. I, I don't try, I don't eat Japanese food. And yesterday I ate a lot of the radish or wasabi. Whew. Came back and my tongue was like kind of like tingly. Strong stuff. So I was expecting, the name is called Ramen Ten, eh? in Jaya 33 building. I thought we were going to eat ramen. And end up with some kind of set thing. Delicious. The, the garlic rice, mmm. I haven't had fried rice that is that nice in a long, long time. Garlic rice is nice. I don't care about the salmon. What else was nice? Miso soup is nice, and the egg, the steam egg, or what do you call it? Tomago steam? I'm not sure what you call it. As as usual during that uh, lunch, oh, I was angry with Jaden because he's just like does not listen to you, kids. I know I do not listen to you. It happens. But does it give you the right to be angry? Yes, it does. Because we know we we know better. We cannot help ourselves. We have to be angry when kids are around. They you tell them Shh, quiet, don't shout. Okay, this is a bloody hall. Don't shout like a madman. Mm. Mm. I love the bacon. Oh, the worker in the in that uh, ramen ten shop. Nice girl. Nice to play with uh, Jaden. Ramen 10, Jaya 33, Section 14, Pataling Jaya. This program is brought to you by them. Ramen 10, awesome chopsticks, awesome food, awesome staff. Staff that will tell you to stop filming because you're not allowed to film the kitchen. The kitchen has glass doors, not glass doors, glass com compartments. Why can't you film? I don't know. But awesome food. Awesome.
with some chopsticks. Mm. Now I know what it is, the caramelized onions or onions in this recipe. It gives you a different texture and a sweetness to it when you bite into the onions. Caramelized onions, sweetness. Mm. It's essential to this because yin and yang, saltiness of the parmesan and the salt and the bacon and sweetness of the onions. So you have to balance out yin and yang. Jericho's phenomenon. Yin and yang policy. Eat ice cream, I shouldn't sweet, sprinkle some salt on it. <coughs> nice. Especially with vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. Mm. Nice. This is beeping already the battery. Of course you can't see it. Fish. Mm. It's got a lot of parmesan cheese melted into the plate, okay? Do not waste the efforts of a cow. Of the bovine type, not of the person or the female type. Okay. Mm. Mm. And gives you practice for later stages in life when you upgrade yourself from a virgin to a cunnilingus sir mm. tastes like smells like fish mm. and if you don't know what's cunnilingus you're too young don't watch these videos it's too adult orientated mm. It's not acting, I'm enjoying myself, man. Uh. At least you enjoy eating this than a woman. Uh. Uh. When is this battery going to stop? <laughs>